Hello everyone, welcome back to another Apple Tree Surfboard Stack Talk video. And today we're going to talk about carbon fiber versus glass fiber. Now again, this is a question we get asked all the time because at Apple Tree Surfboard you can choose your glass layup or carbon layup or even S glass layup and it, it's, a, it's always a hot topic what's best. Now I'm just gonna talk about our surfboards in this video and that's because a lot of brands will sell you a carbon board or they will even call it a full carbon board but then if you look into how the board has been built up it only has one layer of carbon and the rest is fiberglass so it's a mix and, and we don't believe in mixes because there's a technical reason for that I'm not going into it now but full carbon means only carbon and glass means only glass so that's an important point. Now to start with, a lot of people think that a carbon board is stronger than a fiberglass board. And it is in a way, but it is not in another way. That's the reason for that is that carbon is not as strong uh, at, in, in impact. So if you hit it with something hard, like your harness buckle or the floor or anything, whatever, it will shatter and crack much quicker than fiberglass will. Because fiberglass is way more elastic, so it will absorb the impact and the carbon has the tendency to completely shatter. Now this is something to keep in mind that if you want to have a board for pure freestyle kite surfing, so like a lot of jumping and a lot of impact, actually carbon might not be the best solution for you. The big advantage of carbon is that it is way more, it's way stiffer, so it's more responsive. You can load it up uh, when, you, when you push into a turn, it will spring back with more energy well, where a glass fiber board will absorb the energy. So if you want to do freestyle and you want to spin really quickly, for instance, it's nice to have a carbon board because it will rebound and then initiate that spin. But always remember that if you're going to come down really hard, uh, a glass fiber board will absorb the energy of, your, of the impact better than a carbon fiber board. Now in our boards, our carbon boards are really, really, really strong and they hardly ever break. But it is a disclaimer that we always have to put there. That if you want the strongest board, a glass fiber board might be the, the choice for you. Now back to glass fiber, it's more flexible. So as I said, it will absorb the impacts better, but it will also absorb chatter from chop and from wave riding for instance a lot of people want a board that's a little bit softer so it will absorb and it's a bit less tiring on your knees and ankles uh, people who start riding a carbon board always complain that the boards are a little bit or not always complain but they can complain about the boards being a little bit chattery when there's a lot of chop and that's that's tiring for your feet now you can partially cover this by uh, a good traction pad on top but for some people carbon just doesn't work a softer glass fiber board will, uh, will be better for you. Um, at Apple Tree Surfboards, we also offer our boards in something called S Glass, which is an important one to mention. S Glass is a sort of fancier fiberglass, it's way more expensive, but it's much stronger. So, with this, fiber, with this special S Glass, we can make the boards lighter because the fibers are stronger, we can use a little less. So, we actually, use a little less. Um, fibers so the board is lighter and at the same time a bit more flexible whilst remaining really strong so it's a sort of in-between option between normal fiberglass and the fancier carbon you can go the middle road or s-glass s-glass is actually also the, the construction that most of our team riders use not for their freestyle board but mainly for their uh, wake boards they will choose s-glass because it's, it's got the perfect balance between super lightweight and still strong enough to go with all the forces that do it. So to do a little recap, when do you want a carbon board? You want a carbon board if you want the fanciest construction, the lightest weight and the most response in the board. So load it up and get all that pop back. And also we use carbon exclusively in our foil range. And this is because the foils uh, need a stiff board so you can control the board from the foil from the board. Imagine you're quite far away from the foil, so the stiffer this whole construction is, the more control you have over your board. So all our wing boards, our surf foil boards, and our kite foil boards are all full of carbon. Completely for this reason, the stiffness and the control. In the normal kite boards, 
Carbon is a really nice, if you want to have a super light board, uh, super responsive board, and you're not too worried about, uh, about your needs. For the majority of people, a glass board is the way to go because it's a bit more budget friendly and it's a nice balance between weight and flexibility. And if you want to go somewhere in between, uh, have a look at our S-Glass board because they might be the solution for you. So I hope this was informative and we'll see you next time at the next Tech Talk video.